So I'm going to be showing you how to make a fast, realistic glass break in Blender. Um, there are varying degrees of realism you can aim for, um, for different purposes. Generally, if you want to make it realistic, you should use some uh, type of demolition script. Um, however, this method is pretty fast and gives realistic results. So to set up your mesh, you can manually um, push around the vertices to make to get the right um, shape of glass break uh, for the pieces but I usually just do a quick randomization because I don't want to spend the time um, you just subdivide fractal and then make sure the vertices aren't intersecting and then you can size the edges so that they're flat and then after that um, select a random amount of the faces and control T which is splitting them into triangles and then you can do that any number of times you want so now our mesh is finished we need some way of telling where say like a bullet is gonna hit so open the weight paint mode and paint a velocity map so blue is going to be really slow and red is going to be the maximum speed it can have. And then after that we want another density map. That The density is going to tell how small the bits, the break, break off bits of glass are. So I usually just use the velocity because I'm lazy and don't want to paint another map. And then there's another map we need to make which is a protect and that's for you just you can either just copy the uh, the density or the velocity and then invert it and then shrink it a couple times and that tells the explode modifier what parts of the glass to protect and you can just do that manually if you want so now we know where the bolt is going let's give the glass particle system um, you should really just play with these settings um, make sure the mission frames are within one frame of each other otherwise it'll look bad and give it some normal and some random some negative downward acceleration and a little bit of random rotation and then we don't want it to render the particles but we do want it to render the glass and then use your weighting using your weight um, vertex groups you used earlier just set those and then you can bake it so now um, to actually make so so you can see it, um, go to the explode modifier and enable your protect group and split edges and bring the um, that one thing up to one. I forgot what it's called. That should look good. Um, so you can actually for more explosive. Um, glass break you can use empties for forces like sphere force works pretty good and you can experiment with those um, so there are a lot of fancy stuff you can do with modifiers like if you want the glass to deform before it breaks the glass you can use a cast modifier and to make it more three-dimensional you can either use a sharpen node at the end of your composite nodes or you can extrude your mesh and select individual faces and that should make it look 3D but it's a little hollow on the back so you can just fix that pretty quickly um, just select the back edges and press F for face and auto and it should fill it and that trick doesn't work all the time for making your glass look a little more three-dimensional but it does add it does work most of the time and it it's pretty cool it adds a lot of mass to your glass not that papery stuff you always see and then do not use vector blur because that does weird stuff and now you're saying for cracks you can use either stencils or UV with UV unwrapping or you can use a material node um, with and then you'll need to paint more weight groups but 
Uh, I don't have any examples of that, but those are some good settings for the uh, the glass texture. And so, hope you learned something.